What's up, YouTube? Smells like Vin here, and um, this is not my normal way of recording videos. Uh, the lighting is not good at all. I got a big light shining in my face, and um, yeah, I usually record in the other room, but uh, it's being preoccupied right now by my brother. So, um, yeah, and for this review, I have the band and the album that I am doing on a wiki page because I get things wrong. If it's a band I really like, like the Melvins or uh, Smashing Pumpkins, I know it. I know when the album was released, I know who played on it, I know all that. But some albums I don't, and I feel like I mess up too much in my reviews. So with that said, if I don't know something, I'm just going to look on here. So if you see me looking down, that's why. Uh, so, let's talk Can't Heat, Live in the Blues. Now, when I say I'm not a blues fan, it's not because I don't like the genre, it's that I'm just getting into the genre. Because I've listened to Hendrix, Zeppelin, artists that have a, a large blues influence. And so I'm like, you know what, I love that sound, why not get a blues album? So I got Living the Blues by Can't Heat. Uh, and I knew about Can't Heat, and I thought they were really good before. So, you know, I figured it'd be a good place to start. And this album is great. Great, 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 great. Released November 1st, 1968. Now, the cool thing about Can't Heat and this album that I really enjoy is it's a different take on the blues. It's a lot more psychedelic, you know, it was the 60s, so, there's a lot of very psychedelic solos and sounds on the record mixed with a, a traditional blues feel, um, and, and, and the thing that I also like about this album is that there's a lot of instruments used, the band does not limit itself at all to just... You know, bass, guitar, drums, vocals, trumpets, maybe. You know what I mean? They do a lot of different stuff. For example, the three main instruments that I really like the usage of. You know, for example, like on Going Up the Country, classic anthem of the 60s, hippie movement, all that stuff. Even though it's not a hippie song, it feels like it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um... They use flutes in that song in the beginning and throughout, and it, it gives the song a flavor that wouldn't be there otherwise. Um, in boogie music, and I think it's Walk By Myself. Yeah, Walking By Myself. There's the greatest use of trumpets, and it's, it sounds awesome, because they're so with the the drum beat and they're so in time where they add this this groove to it and it's so awesome they use harmonicas yeah there's just tons of shit going on and that's why i think this album is fun and interesting to listen to because it's there's a lot going on that's good what i'm trying to say um the vocals are also something that this album totally has great going for it. Um, vocalists Bob Height and Alan Wilson. I knew who Bob Height was, but not Alice Wilson. They, they both sing, but with different styles. I believe Al... Uh, see, and this is why I don't want to get this wrong. I'm pretty sure that... Alan Wilson, um, plays, or he sings on, um, Going Up the Country and My Mistake, because his voice is in the higher register, like the really high register, and then, um, Bob Height sings on everything else. Oh, and that's cool. That's really cool. I love both their vocals. Bob has a really, his nickname is Bear. Bob has a really gruffy, dirty blues voice, and, and, and Alan has a very high-pitched, 
soothing, almost vocal, and it sounds really great, and it, it kind of offsets, they kind of, they complement each other. Um, the production on this album is great, you can hear everything well, nothing's too in the background. In a few of the songs, I wish the bass was just a tad, just a tad up, just a little bit up in the mix, but it's not something that, you know, ruins the record or anything like that. Um, so yeah, everything is mixed well, there's, it's kind of a raw album, there's not too many effects on the vocals or anything, it's a very stripped down kind of album, and I, I, I love it like that. Flow. The flow on this album is great. It's just one great song after the next. Each one is totally, totally different from the, the last, so they, 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 they don't meld into each other to make a kind of boring listening experience. You know, it's, as far as flow goes, perfect. Um, it, I couldn't pick a, a favorite song or a, or a worse song, really. And the, 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 not the old version, but the new version of this album has two discs. The first, which is just the album, and the second, which is 40 minutes, if not more, of live material. And it's just a huge, monstrous jam session. I actually haven't listened to it yet. I wanted to kind of get, I don't want to just put it on when I'm like, you know, on the bus ride to school or while I'm doing homework, which I usually don't do when I listen to my album. I want to just focus on it because from what I hear, it's absolutely incredible. So unfortunately, I can't review it because I haven't heard it, but um, I'll, you know, keep you guys posted on that. So yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, sorry. So yeah, um, Living the Blues by Can't Heat. Um, great album. Totally great example of how 60s blues sounded. In my opinion, it's kind of like an iconic album of the 60s because it has gone up the country on it. But that's definitely not the only reason to get this album. I'll show you that. So. I'm going to give this album a 9.5. I love it. I think it's great. It was a great introductory to the blues for me. Um, I'll, defi I'll, I'll definitely be digging deep into this and really getting into the blues because I... It's one of those genres that's just so common and everyone likes it. I just haven't gave the time yet, but I am now. And uh, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Oh. And uh, a really cool YouTuber that I, he, he does have quite, I think he has like 4,000 something subscribers, but I just think his videos are really good and you guys should check him out. Three Creation. Awesome videos. Great, great, great videos. Uh, he commented on my Neutral Milk Hotel video, um, and he subbed, so dude, you're awesome. I'm gonna give you a little shout out, not that you need one, because you do have a lot of subscribers, but I figured I'd do it just to be nice. And, uh, yeah, subscribe, rate, feedback. I love, love, love getting feedback. It helps me make my videos better. It helps me improve them. And you guys have been leaving some really nice and, and, and well-written, helpful comments on my videos. So, if you guys could do that. Sub, I'm almost at 30 subs. That's pretty cool. And, uh, see you guys next time.